we're heading into the animal kingdom. Are you drinking my coffee, Elena? Yeah. How's it taste? How's it taste? Your birthday wish. Good birthday wish. One, two, three, go. Good job. You want to see a fire? You like the fire? Good job. They knew. They knew it was your birthday. Disney's uh, magic. Hello, the cheese. Uh, baby. Every step. Good job, Black. Pictures, huh? We gotta get, to get we gotta follow one. Daddy so we can stay I'm, together. I've got the, I've got, I'll take the video of it, honey. Oh, some bugs are expired. You can't have a stroller in here. Oh, we're almost there. Ooh, there's a big beetle over there. You can get those beetles in Japan. Yeah, right. right there, those beetles are they, what they have in Japan for um, pets. What the heck is that? Monkey. There's, there's a gecko. Oh my gosh. Snake eating the branch. Oh, look at this little grass sitting right there. We're going to see some of those in bugs like that. Look, it's a snake. Of the tree. The old platform. Well, Remember, as a shy animal, so do make sure to look out really closely. But it does look like on our right hand side, we have found the old copy. He's behind the. Does anyone know what animal that old copy is related to? So it's actually related to the giraffe. A lot of people think that because of those straight legs that we can see right now, it's got its own eyeball. Pretty cool, but gross all at the oh, same time. laying down over there. Ooh, but it does look like we have found a black rhino laying down. Now, there's only about 5,000 black rhinos left in the entire world, so we are really lucky that we got to see one today. Now, the black rhino is one of the smallest types of rhino here in Africa. Only weighing about 3,000 pounds. So he's one of the smaller types of rhino. Right up next to him. And they're the tallest antelope here in Africa. He is tall. Right here. I can tell that both. Uh, oh, all three of these are right here. Are females. Because they don't have any horns on top of their heads. And then back there in the back on the it's way okay. on top of the hill, now that one. is the bongo, also known as the ghost of the forest. Just 
just a little bit. I like the bridge instead, not the water. Make sure to look out in all these waters for anything that may look like a rock swimming around. Might mean that we have found a hippo. You see some ears sticking out or maybe some bubbles. Usually a good sign that we have found some. Not seeing any yet. The bubbles over there. Oh, but it looks like right, right here on our left we have found some of the hippos to the left of that island. Now when hippos are in a group like this, it's what's called a bloat of hippos. Now they can go about eight minutes underwater before they have to come back up for air. And then out here swimming as, on, as well as on the island. Now those are pink back pelicans. From the pink color that our mothers turn during their mating season. Looks like there's some more hippos out there as well. Oh, it looks like there's one of those birds standing on top of the hippos back. Like I said a second ago, those hippos came yeah. about eight minutes. Oh, but this is the Africa that we are working so hard to protect and preserve, the savannah. So the animals you all may be a little bit more familiar with, like the giraffe, elephants, and then one of my favorites, the lions. But do make sure to stay seated at all times. It does get a little bit funky out there, so just for your safety. But right here on our region, it does look like we have found a king and here in Africa. They catch about 90% of their prey. Oh, that's horrible. It's horrible. Baby one. They're the tallest animals here in Africa. But despite their long necks, they actually have the same number of vertebrae as us humans do. So they have seven vertebrae in their long, long necks. Now giraffes only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. And that's not even at one time. They sleep about five minutes at a time every once in a while. It's like nice and cool in the hot African sun. So we're going to get a good view right up here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Now, elephants do live in a matriarchal society, but just a fancy way of saying that the females are the ones that lead the herd. Once the males reach adolescence, which for them is about 15 years old, they leave the herd to go off and live by themselves. And then right here on our right, you get a quick peek of some. You can see some white bearded weather. It does look like we have found some greater flamingos. And they're actually born gray. Look at this beautiful pink color that we can see that one showing off. After about two years of age from their diet of brine shrimp. And they are one of the largest types of flamingo. Oh, it's very big one, huh? You want one? It does. Despite that size difference, it's actually the females who go out and do all of the hunting. While the males stay back and protect the pride and the rest of the camp. Here on our left and then on the right, you'll see some of those rhinos. Ooh. Now, lions are inactive for about 18 to 20 hours in a day. So they do a lot of... Now, they do have their He likes your dress. Okay. Say cheese. Hello, Mickey. Hi. 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 She's, she's painting her nails. <laughs> Gloves all the time, so you get to see your nails. So, what's the point? Girl, it's just girls do that. She wants to look pretty. Hey, so, I'll buy that one. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.